Good evening, all. I would like you to take a moment to try and imagine what life would be like without successfully ran businesses, the opportunities and careers that would fail to be in existence. No revenue acquired, therefore no worthy life to be lived. Having a job or career is obviously vital towards our survival. My name is Kayla Wachowski, and tonight I would like to discuss the three things a business can do to ensure success. I have personally worked in a small business family-owned and operated business for the past three years and have been granted specific responsibilities which have allowed me to gain an understanding of the important tools a business needs to possess in order to be successful. Having this increased involvement and understanding within the business ultimately enabled me to grasp why the business is successful but also how it continues to be successful. Throughout my time there I have learned so much and in such a short period of time it is really been a remarkable experience. It is vital for us human beings to follow a manageable lifestyle in order to create routine environment for ourselves to accomplish our goals. Speci specifically in business, it is important to understand that when you allow yourself to be managed by others who are more qualified and experienced in the field, it only broadens your knowledge and betters your specific understanding on the subject. It is a fascinating and progressive process that we have the opportunity to make a career of, and in the long run, are making a proud living for ourselves and the loved ones who support what we do. The business world requires every individual involved, from the employer to his or her employees, to prioritize their work according to its importance and effect on reaching the boss's expect expectations. Attending meetings regarding the objectives and goals set forth for the business and maintaining an understanding of the quality system regarding the general business. These three things are three key tools that you can use to ensure that your business will be successful. The first step is that employees need to prioritize their work to be done by creating a to-do list. This will ensure that all work set forth by their boss will be completed in a timely manner. It is vital as an employer to review and structure their employees' workload regularly and set and further set realistic deadlines for the work to be accomplished by. It is highly recommended for employees to keep a time management plan. Every day when I go to work, I lay out all the work that is to be done for the day and even write it down on a little post-it and keep it on my desk just so that everything will be done in a timely manner and customers will be satisfied. That is the one goal that all small businesses need to reach is customer satisfaction. It is the one thing that employees need to keep on their mind at all times. Without satisfied customers, businesses, businesses will go downhill very quick. As well as having a time management plan though, employees need to allow time for interruptions. Like I said, customer satisfaction is a main goal for bosses for a business and um, that's where interruptions will come into play. Every day I have my regular workload but meanwhile I'm answering the phones and customers may need a bit of information um, from what they have purchased or anything regarding their business with you. It's always important to allow time for these interruptions and never let them frustrate you because it leads to the success. Secondly, I have also discovered that holding meetings on a daily basis or weekly basis proved to be effective in order to keep the employees in each department involved with their coworkers and leader. This helps in accomplishing success, successful communication by keeping all parties on the same page in order to accomplish the goals that your boss has set forth. Finally, working in a quality system allows a small business to be reputable on a global level. This means that the company follows specific procedures and work instructions that are set out by the head honcho, I guess you could say, of your business. Um, these documents are usually authorized and are mainly the key to what your employees should follow. They're the guidelines, actually. By following these guidelines, it ensures that your business runs in a proper manner, that they're, it's structured. Having that as a part of your business allows others that are interested in your business to see that it is taken seriously, it's reputable, it's credible, 
and all the above. Specifically in companies, there's something called ISO, registered, and that means that they follow government standards. They uh, have someone come in and audit their company on a usually six month or year basis, and this ensures that to customers that you are reputable. This is key to getting your company global. Um, a lot of customers that in a small, serious business look at this as a uh, reputable source, and that leads to success as well. Overall, it is important to focus on the skills you obtain throughout your journey and use them actively to create a promising career and then future. By following these certain steps, it is possible for whomever to become successful in a business, but overall, the business to be successful itself. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation.